I just had never seen anybody that tall. But the skill that he had was, was just off the charts. All of us were like, oh man, this dude is really coming. When you think about Giannis, uh, you, you know, the first thing you notice about him, of course, is his size in terms of being, you know, seven feet tall. But then you realize, like, what a gifted passer he is. Not only a gifted passer, but also a gifted ball handler. Became a champion. We watched him dominate in the finals. Seven footers like that, they don't come along that often. And when they do, they really do change the game. There's been a lot of comparisons when people talk about Giannis. The one player that really reminds me a lot of Giannis is Ralph Sampson. Seven foot four from the Houston Rockets, number 50, Ralph Sampson. How are you? He's going to redefine how to play big guard. Sampson, nice move from outside. Back from McCray, bang. With authority. Oh, what a running slam jam. Most people don't realize, you know, Ralph Sampson was 7'4", bringing the ball up the court, making passes, shooting jump shots, dunking on you right hand and left hand. I just had never seen anybody that tall. But the skill that he had was, was just off the charts. Bill Russell made the comment that Ralph Sampson, if he reaches his potential, he will be talked about and considered one of the greatest players to ever play. One second on the clock. has given the Houston Rockets the Western Conference Championship. We were all watching it on, on television because, uh, you know, as Lakers against the Rockets, we knew how dominant a player Ralph was becoming, and he was playing against Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Ralph was, you know, kind of having his way with the Lakers. All of us were like, oh, man, this, this dude is really coming. That Rockets team, I mean, you talk about the Twin Towers, they were the real Twin Towers. This is how dominant Ralph Sampson was for that little short period of time before he got injured. If Ralph Sampson had not got hurt, basketball history would be so drastically different. Don't know what would have happened with the Celtics, would they have continued, would the Lakers have continued in the West. If he stays healthy, he and Elijah won, I don't think there was a force capable of competing with those two. Here's the alley of Terrell from Magic Johnson. Well, what a joy for a guy like Magic Johnson to lay the ball up there and know that it's not going to be missed. So we're, we're in Indianapolis, and I won a championship in Indiana. Larry Bird coming home. You got two Hoosier legends coming back to play in Indianapolis. I'll never forget, you know, Magic and Ralph Sampson, they just took over the game. It was one thing to have Ralph Sampson being so amazing himself as a player in his second year, but it was just totally, totally, totally unfair to pair him with Magic Johnson. You know, you talk about two unique freak athletes at their position doing things that the NBA hadn't seen. And then you put them on the same team and the magic that they created, you know, for those 48 minutes, they killed us. And, and Ralph was great. So I want everyone out there to really understand we're watching greatness happen here today, but the greatness that was going on back then with the size and the uniqueness of players was just as good as it is today. And some cases may even be better. And Ralph Sampson was one of us. And, and again, it's like, you know, he's he's seven four, so he's kind of like, hey man, you, you you all right? Hey man, it's uh, it's so good to see you. <laughs>